got as far as the Haverton substation before we cut the lines. The interchange there just started dialing numbers at random. And the symptoms you're seeing match those we've been tracking here? Sickness, headaches, nosebleeds, eventual hemorrhage, then just light, whatever the hell that means. Then we've got to stop it before it finds another way out of the valley. Clive, you've got to order a strike. <laughs> what? An airstrike. We have to kill it. No. No, uh, I don't agree. We've quarantined the valley, we've cut the lines, it's contained. What if you're wrong? Are you happy to have that on your conscience? Stephen, I said it's contained. Break a lost cowboy, this is travelling Sherlock. You copy, over. You dab bugger, Charlie. You don't do it when you're using the phone. You take this too seriously, Appleton, I'm telling you. It is serious. It's not larking about. You be listening to your number stations again, Frankie. It's not funny. <laughs> it's serious stuff, and you should mind it. Now then, I'm assuming this is about a pint. I am going to the Whistler. My round, I think. Oh, I'll never argue with that. Frank, have you seen the sky? It's amazing. Don't think I've ever seen anything like it. I didn't realize we were off to a poetry recital as well, Charlie. <sighs> Terry called this morning. Said there was a problem with Harvey. Said he couldn't get through to the vet, so I said I'd come round and take a look. There's a lot of dead birds today. More here, too, poor little things. I've been trying to get hold of Steve, and he always knows what to do. Got round here, and no sign of either of them. With any luck, the stupid creature will have run under a car. It's probably rabies. 